Hi, I'm Melanie Potter with School of Beadwork. And in this video, I'd like to give you an overview of a design called Flowers of the Field. It is a necklace and an earring design that comes in kit form, meaning that it has a pattern and all the supplies it needs to create it. And I was hoping just to give you a little bit more information so that you can decide if this is maybe something that you would like to do. This design is stitched mainly in chevron chain, but it also has peyote, square stitch, and right angle weave. It comes in six color palettes, and I thought I'd review those with you, just so you get an idea of the kinds of colors you can put together to make neat flowers. The first color is lime and topaz, and that piece includes the matching earrings, as do all of these. Metallic blue and, and Pacific opal is the blue one. There's olivine and amethyst. I'm wearing smoked topaz and sand opal. To my left is fuchsia and olivine. And then there's crystal moonlight and black diamond. Flowers of the Field composes large flowers and small flowers along a necklace base and foliage that goes along with it, these little guys that are kind of dangling. And you can modify Flowers of the Field for your taste, so keep that in mind as we go through the pattern. I've had students ask me how to enlarge it, um, can I make it simpler? So just to cover a couple of things that you could do, first of all, the sizing is very easy and you simply need to add to the back of the necklace. And even if you made it to the size that I show you in the pattern and found it was too small, very easy for you to add to the back of the necklace. So the neat thing with this design, it's very easy to size. Other things that you could modify that may be more to your liking is perhaps you don't want as many large flowers in the front. In this case, the necklace composes five flowers in the front and then everything else in the back are the smaller flowers. You could put just three. You could add or subtract the foliage. So you could even have none if you wanted. So my uh, foliage goes all the way to the back of the necklace. Um, but if you wanted, you could, you could change it to just have it in the front or just a little less. Uh, it, you can decide for yourself uh, how you like that. So it is a necklace that can be changed to your taste. The other neat thing about this necklace is because it's done in chevron chain, I was able to change the connector bead color. So let's look at, uh, here's the kit and everything that comes with it uh, is inside the box. The pattern is, there's two ways to approach the necklace if you're going to do this. You can, you can do the entire necklace base and then come back, add thread, and start doing the flowers. Or you can do like I do, and, and the only reason I do it like this is, in my opinion, it's more efficient, but I'm, I know this stitch, so for me, it, it, it's, it's easy to do. Uh, what I do is I start the necklace base, and then right off the bat, I start adding the flowers to the necklace base. This design is not stitched with the flowers separate. I don't make a flower and then attach it to the necklace base. I stitch the flowers right on the base as I go. So the way, if you're not confident in chevron chain, my suggestion is first make the entire necklace and then come back and add the flowers. And I tell you exactly how to space them. I give you a legend which matches the components inside of the kit. So if you uh, want to know which bead you're going to use, all you need to do is look at the label to see which bead 
is inside that baggie and then you can use it in the kit. The kit comes in a small carrying case, little plastic snap close. It does snap close. It's pretty, pretty neat how that works. And it comes like this with a, a color label and the color label to it, which tells you what color palette this is. This particular one is sand opal and smoked topaz. And so if you're going to do this design, you'd simply follow the text one by one, follow step by step, look at the diagrams as the text tell you which diagrams belong to which section of the text, and you will complete the necklace following all of the text and the um, illustration in the pattern, including the clasp. There is a clasp at the back side of this necklace which you can hardly see, and then there's earrings. The earrings are in the last part of the pattern, and it gives you also some different sizes that you can make. You can make this earring longer or shorter, depending on your taste. And I give you a couple of pictures to see what they look like. I do try to give you pictures of everything that you might need to make this design. Another thing I thought I would show you is kind of what it looks like while it's in process of being constructed. And so I did a, two little pieces in the fuchsia palette here. First on this one is the pro, the, I just simply started beading the base, I added a flower. I stitched off of the flower, came back, started the necklace base again. And if you can see, there's, there's dark green beads and light green beads. That's what I was speaking about earlier. Your connections are different colors, so it helps you to know which bead you're stitching into. And so I continue making my flowers, go across, make my flowers. And here I'm just showing you I started a bezel again. That's just to show, and that's what it kind of looks like in the beginning. When I'm completed, when I have everything done, even if, um, if there's, some of these stitches are a little loose, don't worry, you have a second chance to kind of tighten things up on the second row. Once everything is on and my flowers are all on, I come back through and I add this second row in a smaller size bead. And that cinches up the necklace completely. And, it, and I give you the instructions on how to do that too. Everything that you see, uh, for example, that I'm wearing uh, is inside the kit. The earrings are neat. The earring, you first make the little flower and you just simply attach it. You attach it to the back of the flower, the, the foliage. And this is a French ear wire. Depending on the color palette you, you choose, you'll either get gold filled or sterling uh, French ear wires to hang it from. You could use a post if you prefer that. The kit contains a French ear wire, but it, it really is to the person who's beating its preference. So, okay, I hope that's helpful and that this overview has given you a little bit more information about the kit and the stitches and the way it's made and it can help you make a decision if this thing is for you or not.